Hello and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. We're back. We're back in our little area. Um, I did some stuff off camera. So, I went and I basically just grinded for the electrics stuff. And I think I also got this general rocketry one. Just because uh, I think it'll help us out a little bit. But we basically have nothing left to do for science like on the planet so we need to get into space right now so I think let's get right into it another thing I did was upgrade the vehicle assembly building so we actually have more parts now it's actually like quite a lot of parts so I think that's pretty cool so let's try to oh yeah yeah I did actually uh, unintentionally save over that one or bitter that I made a while back, so we're gonna have to remake one. So let's do that. I think we went with like this pro corp. Maybe we should do. Maybe we should just design it a little bit differently. Let's do a classic little Sputnik look looking thing. I think that'll be cool. Get an inline reactor. Hmm. It is gonna need some RCS on it. But let's not worry about that right now. Yeah, we'll need power and stuff, all, all, all different sorts of stuff. Let's do a big section like that. Move it up a little bit. And let's put some batteries on it. Some big batteries. Four of them. Put them on there. Move them in. We did this last time with our other one. I was like, how these uh like girder segments look because you could put them inside, or you could put like uh, stuff inside of them. It just looks like it works, you know. I think that is super cool. We're gonna need communications and stuff too, though. So. put something like this. I think we're gonna do uh, I want to have like a bunch of them on this side right here. Sort of want it to be asymmetrical. And maybe yeah, I want to have like one of these on one side. I wish we could make that bigger. a different one. Eh, that's not too good either. Extend that. That's not too bad. I want it to be facing that way, but oh well. And I'm gonna put like a couple of these. Boom. Boom. And I'm gonna move them in. Beautiful. Now let's also do a bit of science because we need science while we're up there. Where are you at? Science. There you are. We're going to do the science junior we had last time. Oh yeah, let's do uh, an adapter. Uh, we don't need like a crazy one. That's not big enough. Um, let's try that. Maybe that'll work. Alright, well, it's still not good enough. Hmm. That's probably too big. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. Let's get another one of those. Flip it. Mm. 
Uh, let's put some solar panels on it because I think we actually got some good ones now. Yeah, look at these. These are like proper solar panels. Okay, well, they don't look very good, but. <laughs> Maybe let's just go with some of these smaller ones. I just I just want to have some sort of power on it. I think that's good. I think that'll be plenty. And we could put uh, a couple of these smaller ones on it. Oh, come on. Because we don't want it to run out of power while it's up there, because that would be a big problem. And if it's out of power, you know, it won't work for us. Hmm. I think I think this part of it's done. I'm gonna move this up a lot. Cause I don't want it to be too far out. Or too far under. Yeah, because if we extend it like that, it'll look better, I think. Yeah, as long as it doesn't hit the solar panels. But yeah, you need to be in, like, constant connection with these probes, I think, or else they, uh... I think you just can't, like, connect to them anymore. So, like, you literally lose them. So we, we need to be careful about that. But let's retract these. I'm going to move those in a little bit. Just a little bit like that. Yeah, so now I think we can use a decoupler and a fairing. Do something like that. So you're a decoupler. And now let's do a fairing. don't you want to place? So these fairings are pretty finicky. Sometimes they just don't want to work. Might be because of the type of fairing we're using. Maybe one that's like slightly bigger. Let's try this as our bottom thing. I wish you could scale it, but I'd probably mess with it. Why don't you want to work? It's the only one. Maybe it's because it was placing too many. What the? What are you? I don't know what that is. Are you? It's gotta be this one. Don't know why it won't place. Oh, okay, there it did. Doesn't look too bad. I want to retry that edit. That's pretty cool. I like that. It's a little bit thinner. So yeah, let's start on the rocket. I think I'm. I'm just, I'll just I'll just meet back up with you guys when it's done. All right, I think she's just looking pretty good. Let's name her Orbitor. Who? Let's get that capital. No, it's fine. Let's save it and let's launch it. All right, here we go. SAS RCS is on. Let's uh, make sure all these engines are ready to go. And launch. Let's just go straight up for a while. Sometimes you want to turn immediately so you can like get a better angle and whatnot, but uh, I don't care about that right now. Plus we have plenty of liquid fuel so we can do that later. Ooh. Let's just get up there for now. Ooh, pretty 
fast already. We'll ditch the solid engines and then I think we'll do our turn. We gotta be careful though because we are going kind of fast. So ditch. Slow down a, li a little bit. Okay, yeah, let's start turning. This engine isn't very good. I, I honestly only chose it because of how it looked, but uh, yeah, it's not very good. It's like barely lifting the rocket. This isn't very good. I don't think we're gonna. We're like stalling very slowly. I think we'll be fine. Hopefully, once we start losing some of this fuel, it'll get a bit easier. Because weight, uh, the fuel does have like weight in this. So it could be a bit dangerous. It's looking pretty good though. The arc could be better, maybe, but here we're starting to gain speed now, so we're probably getting far enough away that the the gravity is lessening. I, I assume debris. Th th those are our uh, our other engines. Are solid rockets? I think they're falling down. Looks like they're either hitting either the ground or just going out of our range. I'm going to speed this up just a little bit. I'm going to try to get some of this fuel down. We have a lot of fuel. Okay. Look good. Looking good. That is such, I really like that engine effect. I don't know why. Okay, we're starting to go up there now. Okay. Let's cut the engine. Let's turn off the time stop or scale. Let's separate. And now let me fire this fairing. Deploy. I love that. That is so cool. Yep, so now we're just going to go prograde. And for base once we get to like the tippity tip of the the arc, we're going to fire at prograde. And that should just like allow us to get into orbit. So it's time scale a little bit. I think that's I think it's about right there actually, so let's go. What we could do is, um, we could do like a uh, maneuver, but I'm just gonna eyeball it, because I'm a real gamer. Let's not go appropriate, let's go up a little bit. Hopefully we have enough fuel to make it. We're so close. After after a point, it'll start going really fast. Yeah, come on. Yeah, look at that. Orbit, we did it. Let's keep going. All right, it's looking good. Let's do it a little bit more. Okay, nice. So now once we're on this side, we're going to fire it, prograde again, and we'll extend it. Yeah, look at that. So once we get to the other side, I'll, I'll meet you back once we're at the other side. Let's real quick, uh, let's deploy all of like our antennas and stuff. You know, get it looking like a real satellite. 
Extend. Extend. You can do like hotkeys for stuff, but uh, I've never been good at setting those up, so. There go. Oh, there's only two. Extend. Beautiful. Yeah, so now we've got like a good line back to Earth. Or I think it's Kerbin, actually, yeah. But yeah, once we get around here, I'm gonna fire again, so. It's looking good. I'm not gonna extend the solar panels yet, because um, sometimes if you extend them while you're flying, it can like tear them apart, and I do not want that. So, we're almost there. Alright, our orbit is complete. I could extend it a little bit more over here, but I think we're fine. So what I'm gonna do is spin and ditch. Goodbye, tank. And now we can extend the solar panels. And that right there is a cool looking little satellite. Um, let's do our science real quick. Yeah, it's not a whole lot of uh, science. Let's keep it. Yeah, and we can do this curb net, I think. I've never been too sure what this does, but I think it's just so we can like map out the the planet and find stuff. Yeah. So we should be able to transfer transmit data. Okay. I think we transmitted the science. So should be able to just keep doing that, I think. Hmm. Maybe this was a waste of time. But I think it's cool. Because now we have a cool little satellite. So I think we did a good job. It's a nice little satellite. I think I'll see you guys next time.